बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका सेफ आप अपनी फिल्म बुलेट राजा को प्रमोट करने के लिए इस वक्त लंदन में आए हुए हैं सबसे पहले ये जानना चाहूंगी कि हमने सुना है कि प्रोड्यूसर्स एक्चुअली इस फिल्म को काफी रॉकिंग सा कुछ झकास सा नाम देना चाहते थे लेकिन आपने ये नाम सजेस्ट किया बुलेट राजा उस वक्त दोड्यूसर्स इतने इन्वॉल्व नहीं थे इसमें तिकमानशू और मैं बात कर रहे थे और वो वो इतने रॉकिंग सजेशंस नहीं थे दे वर सम क्वाइट ठंडा सजेशंस लाइक यू नो आई कहा मुझे याद नहीं आ रहा बट मेरी जंग टाइप टाइटल्स यू नो लाइक लिटिल डेटेड एंड नॉट सो तो टाइटल्स की बात चल रही थी तो उन्होंने कहा कि कंगना रनावत एक पिक्चर कर रही है कॉल्ड रिवॉल्वर रानी जो तिकमानशु ने डायरेक्ट किया है या इज राइटिंग समथिंग सो दैट्स अ गुड नेम वाई नॉट रिवॉल्वर राजा इट्स टेकन so i said then bullet raja hmm. so they said oh great that sounds really nice and it is nice that title is very important i think um you know so that's how that happened to ye bataiye ki aap is project ke sath kis tarike se jude kaise hua ye sab shuru main chahta tha ki main dimanshu ke sath kaam karu unki film achhi lagi khas karke pan singh tomar bahut achhi film thi um lekin mujhe कमर्शियल फिल्म में काम करना था और मैं मैं चाहता था कि वो भी एक थोड़ी और कमर्शियल टाइप की फिल्म बनाए और जब उन्होंने ये आइडिया सुना है मुझे तो बहुत पसंद आए आई वॉन्टेड टू प्ले ऑल्सो माफिया काइंड ऑफ रोल समथिंग आई हैव डन एंड टू प्ले यू पी कैरेक्टर विद एन एक्सेंट उस टाइप के कपड़े और लखनऊ में जो शूटिंग की तो एक अच्छा सिनेमैटिक एक्सपीरियंस रहा एक कमर्शियल फिल्म है बट ऑल्सो एक क्रेडिबल परफॉर्मेंस उन्होंने एक्सट्रैक्ट किया तो एक डायरेक्टर के साथ काम करने में जब मज़ा आता है तो वो भी ज़रूरी होता है दैट्स नाइस थिंग टू फील इससे पहले कि मैं आपसे और इस फिल्म के बारे में सवाल पूछूँ एक बहुत ही क्यूरियस हूँ मैं एक चीज़ जानने के लिए कि आपने इतने सारे नए डायरेक्टर्स के साथ काम किया है जो कि आप जैसे इस्टेब्लिश स्टार्स कई बार यू नो हिचकिचाते हैं कि नए डायरेक्टर के साथ काम करूँगा पता नहीं कैसा होगा पर आपने जिनके साथ भी पहली बार काम किया ओमकारा फॉर एग्जांपल और सब सुपर डुपर हिट रही कब ज़्यादातर तो एटलीस्ट क्या आपकी आपने क्या सोच के इन डायरेक्टर्स के साथ काम करने का निर्णय दिया फर्स्ट टाइम सी हाफ यू आर फैक्ट्स आर नॉट राइट बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ दिस फिल्म्स डिड नॉट रन आई मीन आई विश दे हैड रन बट दे दे डिडंट सो फिर भी आपने तो रिस्क लिया ना आपके साथ काम करके बट आई यू नो लाइक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम नॉट लाइक द मोस्ट पावरफुल एक्टर इन पॉली दैट आई एम गिविंग द चांस आई मीन I think I'm doing better today. So, if a new film happened, I would understand the risk. But at the time when I was doing films like Parinita and which are the other ones, even Omkara, um, I would just be happy to get the best of what I'm offered. And sometimes working with new people is exciting because they have new ideas. And earlier, I think in the '90s, Bollywood was looking backwards, you know, to Mr. Bachchan movies and trying to remake these kind of films. uh and then at some point we started looking forward um so that's nice um and young. young people young i mean it's different different thing because i mean young guys they understand technique they understand so many things that are are different but i feel um india has not developed that much in its taste for cinema um i think they still like simple clear uh you know they like songs like comedy um mm. like a masala movie if you want to make that hasn't changed much in terms of that formula um the way to make money in a movie is when you get single screen support as well as multiplex support um it's i hear a lot of scripts that are made for multiplexes and i don't really like the scripts that are made only for single screen so it's it's rare to find something that's both i see like bullet raja to mm. ये बुलेट राजा फिल्म एक माफिया के ऊपर आधारित है उत्तर प्रदेश में जहाँ पर ऑलरेडी माफिया रिलेटेड काफ़ी चीज़ें होती रहती हैं आपको लगता है कि क्या ये सही है बॉलीवुड इन चीज़ों को इतना ग्लोरीफाई करके दिखाते हैं और इस किस तरीके से वहाँ जो लोग रहते हैं उनकी भावनाओं को ठेस पहुँचती है आपको लगता है कि ये सही है 
Mm, I don't think the people living there should be offended, but the first part of the question is important. Key, and I think film sometimes is like a mirror, you know. It's not really our job to protect uh, people by not or by not glamorizing some things. Some things, unfortunately, are can be glamorized, you know. Killing, making your own rules, gunfights, action. They've always been a little dangerous and wrong and therefore fun and easy to make into bad boys and like and and we do that in cinema. So whether it's a good thing to do, I don't know. But if you didn't have it, then our films would be a little boring. Mm -hmm. You know, if we keep making films on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, then I mean it will become that's not reflective of our culture, it's not the truth. No? If UP is like that, then I mean, I think as, as a film person, anything that happens, I think of it in terms of, in terms of a movie. I mean, if I cry, I say, oh, this is how I should cry in a film. If some, somebody tells me an amazing story, I say, that's what a character should be like in a movie. So I kind of relate at things to films. So if I think of the politics in UP and how insane it is that a politician actually legitimately has a character called a Bahubali, who is meant to beat people up and it's accepted in a democracy. I mean, that's a hell of a character to have in a film, is what I would think. But therefore, I'm not the policy maker in India. I'm just an actor, you know. So, I mean, these are questions for moral, moral guides. Very quick last couple of questions. Yeah. What do you think is so special about Digman Shudhulia? I think he's a commercial, he's like a film director who, with, with, uh, um, with, a, with a sort of, I'm scared to say artistic edge, but that's probably the truth, that he's got a bit of an artistic edge and he's got a certain social um, angst that without being boring, I mean, he'll want to say something in his film a little, little bit, but I hope, you know, it'll be in a scene or it'll be an undercurrent. So, uh, and he's wonderful also because he's talented, he's good and all that, but he's also open. He understands, and you can give and take a lot. He also shoots gunfights better than anyone else, I think. <laughs> yeah, he does because of yeah. the technique to it, you know. Yeah. Like combined shots, he shoots both. He shoots you here and then from behind the person getting hit. And both happens in the same frame. It's like Sergio Leone. It's, it's fantastic. Very, very true. Um, and his dialogues are outstanding. Like he writes tremendous, tremendous dialogue. Um, and it's got a northern, so he makes UP cool. Um, yeah, I, I think the best thing about him is, and his presentation of character, like how to make it charming. I mean, basically he's a guy who's like a, ends up being a, you know, uh, a murderer uh, or a killer. But he makes him, and, and you still love him. Um, and it's a, a character that, it's an anti-hero, um, you know, so, that's what, I mean, he's, he handles it really well and make sure it's entertaining and make sure it's fun. Fun to do and fun to watch. Chalte chalte, ek dialogue aapki is film se. Um, well, I'm trying to think, there's so many. Jo ek aapko sabse zada rata hua aur jo sabse zada impactful aapko laga hua. Well, there's a, there's, there's a short line, there's a chap who says, uh, He's the Bahubali for um, the character that Raj Babur is playing, the senior minister or something. So he asks him, Ki, Tum kabar wapis? So he says, Ji, jo maenge, to aapko pata chali jayega. Garmi bad jayegi. So I, I like that line. And I like the title line also, which is, Ki, he says something about. Um, a policeman comes to lecture him on something. I mean, to come and warn him. Um, okay, that's a, that's a bit too long. Um, so he's a Brahman. So he says to him that, "Aap hume samjhane aaye ya dhamkane aaye?" Because dhamki se to hum darte nahi. Aur Brahman hai, to samjhe bhi paida hua hai. 
So things like this. Uh, so yeah, it's some good lines in the movie. Thank you very very much. वैसे आप आए हैं तो वाकई लंदन में गर्मी आ गई है. रामन भूखा तो सुदामा. समझा तो चाणक्य. और रूठा तो रावण. कब आ रहे हो? जब हम आएंगे गर्मी थोड़ी बढ़ जाएगी. पता चली जाएगी.